Hello, hello. Here we are again, back in the gym, having some absolutely awesome weather today. So I'm going to get this review done, and then we're going to start training. So look at this. Welcome to the gun show. I love this lighting. Boom. Nice peak. There we go. Okay, enough screwing around. What are we doing today? This is the new battle rope. I have a truck sled pulling rope that's 100 feet long and a two inch diameter. And that thing takes up an entire trash can. And I don't use it that much because it's such a pain in the wazoo to move. So let me get the mic going here. I got this one for more of an everyday purpose. Uh, here's the, here's the kind of wild thing I wasn't expecting already. Uh, I ordered it from Amazon and it was listed as a signature fitness, uh, listed as a 50 foot rope, 1.5 inch diameter. So again, a little bit smaller than the one I have, but much better for everyday purpose. So here's what arrived. This is, let's see if you guys can see that. There we go. Balance form everyday essentials battle rope. And then here we have 38 millimeter by 15 meters and whatever 50 15 i don't know if that's the strands or whatever so i'm guessing this has to do with the international shipping um this was actually a good price it was only like 50 bucks and it's uh made in china to usa yeah that's obvious so i guess i'm i think china is uh, metric and this and that and this and that so i actually looked this up Converted 15 meters to feet, and it's like 49 and a half feet or something like that. It's something very weird. So uh, I'm kind of curious to see exactly how long this is. I actually mapped out 50 feet. So if it's within, heck, six inches, I'm not really that concerned with that. Uh, however, I am concerned if people are ordering one size, like a, like a 50 foot rope, and they're getting like a 40. Now that's a huge problem. So I am actually going to take this out of the box, check it out, and then we're going to measure it out here on the driveway because the sunny days have arrived. So number two on the list of what is going on with this Amazon find, again, listed as Signature Fitness, but this is Balance Form Everyday Essentials. It's probably, I've seen this before, I've seen the Amazon thing or the manufacturer thing. They do the same product and they list it under multiple different names. So who really knows? Let's see what's going on. So uh, potential problem. I don't know if it's a problem, potential problem. This is what arrived. You can see this box is all mangled. See, look, the full tear here. This is all mangled here. See, this is barely even together. Okay, well, at least we got some plastic on the inside. So let's get a close up of that. See, this is all messed up here, all messed up here. I really am not in the mood for sending this whole thing back, but we'll see what happens. Uh, the good news is this piece of plastic here, get a quick close up of that, is still completely intact. And Amazon, please continue putting extra plastic on all your products because we can see what happens to these cheap boxes and since it's rope i'm gonna or since it's a battle rope uh, i'm gonna just pretty much tear this open because it's already there okay well that was easy pretty easy all right okay so this is intact and this just slips right down <laughs> well this is how simple is that check the mic perfect so you got it stacked up coiled like a snake and i did not even need to use the scissors so I'm going to get this out of the way, and here we go. Not sure if yours is going to be as easy to open as mine, but my box was messed up. So, voila! All right, get this out of the way here. All right, this is huge. My other rope does not have this. I love these ends, and more importantly, this, this is so important, because when your rope comes apart, it's, a, it's a, again, a royal pain in the wazoo to put back together. So not only does this have this nice thick plastic coating, but here's the best part. We're going to zoom in on this. If you can see the end there, I don't know if you can see that. See, there's an extra piece of plastic here to help produce, or uh, help produce, help reduce fraying. So this is really going to prolong the life of the rope. 
So that is that is a good sign right there. Really like that. Okay, this is coiled very nicely. And plastic. Plastic is still in one piece. We got more cardboard junk. And oh, geez, this is even better. I really like to see this extra rope because if this thing comes uncoiled, it's gonna break the box and you're never gonna see it, and who knows what's gonna happen. So this is ready to rock. Here we are. We got the same thing on both sides. Again, very important. You guys don't order this brand. Make sure you get one that's got some type of end to it. Um, it's just going to prolong the life of the rope. And it's really, really uh, just plain annoying when it starts coming uncoiled. You can tie it and rewrap it. But when you're paying full price for something like this, you know, you should be getting, you know, something quality. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this off. All right, this is a great grip. This 1.5 grip, I think, is perfect. Uh, I'm in lightweights, and I'm about 5'10". So you can see this is, this is just about optimal right here for me. Uh, I can do a slide pull, truck pull, with a 2-inch rope, but uh, this is going to be a lot better for me and a lot better for my clients. Most of my clients are under 250. And um, I even have a few of my uh, younger relatives, nephews, friends that train here. So this is going to be much better for a day-to-day -day use at the 1.5 than a 2-inch diameter rope. So I'm going to guess for the majority of people out there that are on their fitness journey, as much as you know, it is cool to watch the strongmen, the giants, do their thing, um, for an everyday rope, I'd say 1.5 is going to be completely sufficient for, geez, 75, 80% of, of the gym goers. Um, commercial gyms are going to have probably, if they even have a rope, they're probably going to have both sizes. But uh, again, I think every day you start with the 1.5. If you want to get a thicker one, that's fine. But I'm guessing more people are going to, use, going to prefer a 1.5 than a 2 inch. All right, so we're gonna cut right through here and not cut the rope, perfect. We're gonna put this with the trash, and here we go. All right, I am going to unravel this, make sure it's 50 feet, and um, I think we'll speed this up. So here we go, stay tuned, I'll be right back, and you're gonna watch step by step, no camera breaks, just so you know, I'm not screwing around with anything. So we're just going to walk this guy back into the sun. Woo! Woo, mama! So here is... Can you see that? There you go. That's the starting line for the 50 feet. Uh, this is where I train uh, farmers carry and all that stuff. Man, beautiful day. Beautiful day. And this line right here, this is the finish line. That's the end of the 50 feet. So I'm going to move this all the way back here. And we'll see. Did I actually get a 50-foot rope? Um, I'm not sure if the microphone's going to cut out, but won't really need much sound. Be right back. All right, so you can see it's still a little coiled from the packaging. And what we're going to do here, give it a little, give it a little slack. So you guys can see there is the finish line. Let me give it just a little slack. And this is a huge snake. You can see it's a little coiled here, so it's, just coming out of packaging, it's not quite stretched out yet and still a little bit tangled. Okay, so this side is straight. Let's see here, perfectly straight. Woo, sunny day. I like it. So there we go. That side is perfectly straight. It's about three inches there.
Yep, there you go. So actually, yeah, it's about, I don't know, it's a little tangled down there. So that's what you got. So I'm not going to measure that. That's about 10 inches to a foot. So it really is closer to the meters than it is anything else. All right, so you guys can see everything here. 49 feet listed as 50, probably closer to the actual 15 meter mark. Uh, again, I'm, that was uh, pretty accurate. There is a little bit over here, a little bit of twist. So uh, at the other end, so um, not that big a deal. But what I do want to show you guys next, I really like this 50 foot length because I am going to show you guys the battle rope and I'm not even going to anchor it. And I think that's going to be huge because any, anything you have to set up or, or mess with at all is going to slow your workout down. And it's just, you know, again, why waste the energy when you need that to work out? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double it. I'm going to show you the battle ropes with uh, no anchor. There you go. So it worked. It'd probably be better with an anchor. So if you're, if you have the room, I would go with the 50 just to be safe because we sure as heck don't want to order two ropes. But um, at the same time, uh, you're probably going to want to anchor it wrap it around a cage or something like that but for the money i really like these ends and uh, i really like the grip and you know what this is going to be a lot easier to transport than filling up you know an entire trash can uh, just to be able to transport one rope so looking forward to many high quality workouts with this guy uh, I will say that for the price, again, I paid right around, I paid full price, right around 50 bucks for it. It was uh, free shipping. And you know what? I'd say it is, it delivers uh, based on everything uh, except for that, you know, that last 2% of the length. And uh, very happy with the shipping, the extra packaging, the ends, the grip. It's like the, uh, this is the, uh, nylon composite, but everything here is in really good shape, good grip, and uh, I think this will last, last a lifetime. So give it a try, and I will catch you all later. See ya.